Putin to but the minorities in Pakistan. And Richard's earlier question about radicalization there. Uh, you have seen bombings of Shiite mosques in Qatar and elsewhere, the assassination of Governor Salman Tassir uh, by an Islamic extremist, uh, the uh, capital penalty, capital death penalty case of Asya Bibi, who was finally allowed out of Pakistan for being a Christian who didn't entirely reverence the Prophet Muhammad. And you have publishers who are fearful of uh, Islamist attacks and, uh, and such. Um, to, is there any progress to be made on reforming those blasphemy laws? And how pervasive is the sense of, uh, of the tiny minority fundamentalists being able to employ violence in order to enforce religious conformity? And you get help from elsewhere in the Muslim world, like Saudi Arabia, uh, at being able to progress toward a more moderate Islam. Okay, first let me uh, clear one thing. There is only one Islam. There's no such thing as moderate Islam or radical Islam. I even heard yesterday that there was this radical Islam. There is only one Islam. Islam, like all human communities, has its radicals, majority moderate, and then, of course, some lunatics who every, every human society has. And there you might have your racists. When I first went to England, there were these skinheads who would be, beat up people because of the color of the skin. So uh, there is only one Islam. And the Islam we follow is the, flaw, uh, the Islam of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And that Islam, according to the Prophet, all of us are born children of Adam, so we are all equal, regardless of our color of our skin. That Islam gave complete rights to minorities. Uh, in, the, in the state of Medina, he created a Jewish citizen wins a case against the Khalifa, the head of state. He, lo he loses a case against a Jewish citizen, which means that they were equal citizens if they could uh, stand and win against the head of state. That's the Islam we follow. In my vision of Islam, all human beings, regardless of their religion, are equal. Now, if we have not been able to enforce our laws, it's because unfortunately, unfortunately we have ruling elites that have kept themselves above law. And when that happens, and this is the Pakistan is not the only uh, country like this. There are countries with, where you have sections of populations, the elites above the law. And when that happens, there is no rule of law. Then might is right. So my party is called the Rik and Saf Movement for Justice. And justice means justice for all human beings. In fact, for me, justice means for animals too. Because in the state of Medina, who we look up, for Muslims, there is only one model, and that is the Prophet created the state of Medina. That state of Medina gave rights to women first time, property rights.